Hello and welcome to Dabbling in Journals and week four of my One Book July series. Now as far as I have decided from the calendar there are five weeks in One Book July for me this year because the first week was like half a week and the fifth week is like almost a whole week. Anyway let's get started straight away and have a look at what I did last week before we move on and set up week four. So I didn't do very much in my memory keeping insert let me find the page i did i think i just did one page yes i no not that one yes this one i did one page in my one book july memory keeping insert <laughs> and i was celebrating with this spread the fact that we'd bought our son a new piano i don't know if you can tell that's a photograph of his new piano and I also bought a lovely stool so I was very happy and I got it as a real bargain I was a real bargain guys <laughs> we were really lucky I saw it one week and then I took my partner to buy it the next week and it like another third was off the price so we were, were really happy with that but anyway the main item is the new piano which is amazing um it is just I mean we we chose the piano that his teacher recommended we bought the newest one we could afford it's not a brand new one it is pre-loved but we bought the newest one we could afford and my son is so happy with it we're all really happy with it even my partner's starting to learn to play piano and I'm thinking about learning to play the piano again I did do a little bit when I was young but not I didn't get very far with it and yeah we are loving it and we've got this beautiful orange stool to go with it so that two of us can sit there together we wanted a really long one so that we could sit there together and play together and so that was my only journaling page i've just put some stickers and my usual sort of little scraps of paper some of these lovely ribbon stickers and a small space for journaling so that was my journaling insert last week and of course I also did my daily sketch <laughs> and the first week of one July one book July I did noses the second week I did ears and then I wasn't sure whether to do lips or rabbits it just like popped in my head and everyone who replied said rabbits so here we go <laughs> or bunnies whatever you want to call them so I did some sketches of bunnies I just really simple little really quick sketches because the whole point of my daily sketch is for it to just take a few minutes so it's not onerous or difficult to keep up with and so I did this little bunny here this is one of those bunnies that has floppy ears I don't know what you call them I'm sure one of you all know what they're called those ones where the ears go downwards instead of upwards I did a little standing up bunny and a little bunny face I did a bunny from the back and then finally of course because I live in the UK and how could I not do a Beatrix Potter bunny <laughs> It's just a quick five minute sketch so it's not brilliant and no one here as good as Beatrix Potter's bunnies but I just thought that would be fun to just do a little Beatrix Potter bunny so how many days did I do one two three four five six I did six out of the seven so I'm pretty happy with that so if I go into my bujo my bullet journal and my oh my weight loss by the way I lost three pounds just before I started one book July lost a pound lost a pound last week this week nothing I've just got a little blob <laughs> didn't put any on but I didn't lose anything but the main thing is I've lost the five pounds that I put on on my camping trip and now it's all downhill from here I hope and then I've started putting some forward planning in my wish list and my trackers and as you can see with my daily sketch I did six out of the seven days with my journaling I did four out of the seven days and my exercise I did nothing because I still have this really troublesome pain in my shoulder that's going down my back and up through my neck and it's really quite debilitating and I'm 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 
struggling with it so I just thought I'm just going to leave it this week and rest and hope that it's just some kind of strained muscle that will recover but we'll see so nothing in my green <laughs> for my exercise tracking and then if we go to where is my first oh it's green that was green week I quite like the fact that I've color coded my weeks because then I know where I am so green week was last week obviously I filled in my week filled in my to do's and actually ticked them all off can't believe it that hardly ever happens ticked off all my to do's did my giveaway I've messaged her she's messaged me everything's organized ready for that to go off so that's fantastic and I finished filling in my menu and I did do a recipe in the blank page that I said last week I would do a recipe in this page I did a very simple one it was pork stroganoff as a family we are trying to reduce our meat consumption so it wasn't the best choice for my first recipe in my bullet journal but we were having my mother-in-law for dinner I wanted to do something special I'm not very confident yet with cooking vegetarian meals so I did a pork stroganoff it was really easy it was just a pork fillet which I cut up with scissors <laughs> I got a packet of leeks and a packet of mushrooms and I fried those put them to one side fried the pork put that to one side mixed it all together added lots of paprika for the um, sort of stroganoff flavour and then added sour cream and I served it with rice and it went down very well so I was very happy with that so I'm definitely going to be using my bullet journal to do one new recipe every week and I will try to make more of them vegetarian and not meat but sometimes there'll be meat I don't know I can't quite go fully vegetarian but I'm I'm moving that way and then this was my focus for the week and I chose this card and look at this this tarot deck was gifted to me by a very dear friend and she knew that I was using tarot for my self-healing and my focus on my week and so on and she gifted me a set of carrot cards which I thought was so kind of her so I used this one and look at this beautiful image. It's very much a blue palette and she is in the most elegant position. She, might, she reminds me a bit of my daughter who's a ballet dancer because she can put her body in these kinds of elegant positions. I'm sure I couldn't. But what really struck me about this image was the fact that she's got a bird settled on each of her hands. So she's clearly very still. So I thought about that and I thought about the fact that she was so still and I thought about the fact that this seemed like a time to pause and reflect because if you're still, you've got time to pause and reflect. So I thought about that in my journaling and I noted that in tarot normally the two of air, which is what this card is, two of air, is commonly understood as indicating blocked emotions or avoiding truths or perhaps stalemates. So I thought to myself, what truths am I avoiding? And I know perfectly well because I have PTSD. And so I know that there are truths that I block, but the trouble is that blocking is important for my safety. I mean, you, you use blocking systems to block memories when you're traumatized for a good reason, you know, to help you get through the experience and obviously as you're trying to heal from it you do need to think about how to unblock some of those memories but it's not something you could just do lightly or easily or possibly by myself but one of the things it said in the actual guidebook was it's time to take a break to consider my options and think about things there is no need to to rush the perfect answer for the highest good will come to me if i take my time and remain in a peaceful state of mind so i thought well that's a good thing to think about but i did focus a little bit this week in my personal journaling i haven't done very much just a few pages of personal journaling where i was thinking about those truths that i kind of am aware of but i don't easily acknowledge and also I was thinking about my block memories and what I could do about those. And obviously that's a bit personal, so I'm going to squish it together. 
I'll squish it together. I'm not going to read you all that because anyway, you wouldn't be interested, I'm sure. So what I'm going to do now is prepare for my fourth week of One Book July. Now the first couple of weeks I used, I've got to try and find the pages now, I used this kind of box system for my planning and then last week I used, if I can find it, this kind of layout one day at a time vertically and I thought this week I would try a vertical layout in my little tiny pocket size bullet journal so I've already written it in because that's obviously a little bit boring for you to watch so I've written in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday going vertically and then on the next page I've written in my usual horizontal for my meal plan because I think that's easier so the thing that I realized once I decided to do this was that I wasn't going to have very much space for to-do lists so I thought, oh, cool, we can have a go at adding a tip in for to-do lists. Now, this is Tomorrow River paper, so it's very thin paper. So I've taken a piece of, this is Traveller's Notebook, lightweight paper. Whenever I finish an insert, but if I haven't quite finished it, I always take the pages out. So I always have a bit of spare paper. And this is a similar weight to the Tomorrow River paper. So I thought that would make a good tip in. So I've just folded it here, as you can see, it's a bit scruffy, I think it took me a few efforts. And I'm going to glue it down here to make my tip in. Now I am going to just round my corners with a corner rounder if it will work on such thin paper. Oh, it nearly did. Yeah, it did. I'm going to round that corner, she says, hopefully. Yes. And then I am going to tip this into my journal before I start filling it in and I thought it would be fun for you to see me adding a tip in to my One Book July journal so let's do that so I've cut this paper the same sort of well it's not quite right but the same kind of height and um, as I say I've rounded the it's got <laughs> I always put everything in one key and then I have to start again oh, let's try again yes so there we have my little tip in and I'm going to use that to do my to-do list on. So this is going to be my week so now even though I'm in a pocket I've got a much longer space to use and I thought I would just demonstrate that for those of you that want to use a pocket and find it a little bit small it's very easy to just add little extra bits to your pages if you want to. Okay so, what am I doing this week? I've got to find my pen. My pen is in my journal. And so, I need to think about what am I doing this week. So, I'm going to go back to my monthly, just to make sure there's nothing I need to add. Oh, and there is. So, on the 20th, I have a dentist appointment. Because my last one got cancelled because my dentist was poorly. So, I have to go... Let me see. I've forgotten what time it was. What time was it? Oh, I can't find it. So this is one thing with my bullet journal experience. I can never find everything. So I do need tabs. If I carry on with this, I need tabs. Okay, so the dentist is at 11.30. And then I know later in the day, I've got agility with my dog at 6.00. So that's two appointments popped in. Have I got anything else? I do have a lunch appointment with my mother-in-law on Sunday and my dog is going to my daughter so we don't have to take her and we would never leave her at home on her own all day. So my daughter is having my dog and then we're having lunch with my mother-in-law as it's about to be her birthday. I think her birthday is the next day, but we're going to have a birthday celebration with other family members. So that's going to be really good. Now, what else do I need to put in here? On Thursday, I know that my partner has karate because he's just opened up again after lockdown. I don't know how long for, who knows how long lockdown will start. And I think... 
oh saturday i am going to see my sister with my daughter and granddaughters so with key and the twins because they haven't met the little puppy yet and oh talking about the puppy i have to pause i'm sorry guys i know you may not all be as dog obsessed as me but it's surprisingly hot in the uk at the moment really hot and we're not used to it and here is my sister's puppy <laughs> oh look at that he's proudly posing with sunglasses on and again <laughs> he looks like a wise teacher there doesn't he and he's such a calm little lovely adorable puppy and he doesn't mind i mean if if i did that to my dog and i put sunglasses on her she'd like woof them up into the air and eat them <laughs> And there he is again, just chilling in the sunshine before he's had to go inside and cool off because we're not used to this hot weather in the UK. But I couldn't help but share that because he's just so adorable. Anyway, going back to my planning. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's probably all I need in here at the moment. So... I have decided I'm going to put my to-do list here. Okay, so I'm going to put my to-do sticker on. I'm already seeing an issue with this layout. I'm going to put my to. <laughs> I'm going to try and put my to-do sticker here, right? But then I'm thinking, how do I write on that? I know people use tippins all the time, but I don't know how they do it. I mean, how do I write on that? Um, I'm thinking. Of using just a little checklist for my to do's, and that's going to work fine, I'm sure, with my orange theme. But how am I going to write on that? I can't write like there. How can I write? I mean, I guess I could. Oh, this is not going to work. Oh, I suppose I could do that I could like squish my my notebook like that so I've got the paper on the ground so that I can write my to do's in for this week let's just put one in to try <laughs> oh, I don't like this layout at all <laughs> already because it's crazy I mean you should be able to just write in your notebook yeah so um what shall I put for my to well I know I'm gonna have to clean my fish I always have to clean my fish so if I put clean fish tank right as my first to do so that i've put one in okay and i want to do a little bit of decorating so this is just to show you what it would be like if you tipped in a tip in in an insert which is kind of like halfway through your book it's a struggle you're gonna have to find something you can lean that on to write because it's not like these you can write on because they're in your notebook but this one is like okay so i totally don't think that works but you tell me if you think that could work and i've done something wrong so before i leave this page i do want to decorate it a little bit before i decorate i need to remind myself i definitely need to send happy mail on wednesday i've got a few people waiting for happy mail on Wednesday and I want to pop that in but I also of course have my giveaway that needs to be posted so I want to use a different sticker posts is there anything else I need to pop in here I don't know I'm getting a bit it's so hot today I can't think straight <laughs> and this this is gonna be oh an interesting disaster anyway we'll leave that let's just decorate this page a little bit because we should always decorate our pages yeah so i have this nice little washi tape i'm gonna pop a bit on the bottom there that's so pretty and oh you can have washi tape down here oh i'm gonna put it that way so the owl's the right way I can have washi tape down here on this layout. I actually like the layout. It's just I'm not sure about this tippin' -y thing because I'm not sure how I'm going to use that. But we, I will let you know next week how this went. 
having this kind of tip in. You know what? I should have done something decorative here and then had my tip in my to-do list here because then I could have leaned on the page and that would have worked absolutely fine. Anyway, I will evaluate that next week. So I've got my stuff <laughs> that I'm going to do. I've got my, oh, this is going to be my page for my meal plans. So today we're having pasta carbonara. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to have a curry of some kind and then Wednesday we're going to have chicken wraps. As you can see I haven't got rid of chicken in my diet yet. Well it's not my diet, this is for my boys. And then Thursday we will have tuna pasta bake. And then on Friday, I'm going to do my new menu plan and I'm going to add a recipe here. So I need to decorate this page. And I'm going to use this kind of really cute um, arrow washi tape. <laughs> Let's get, put an arrow here and an arrow here. And then let's choose a nice foodie type sticker. What would be a good one? I don't want one that's too big. Let's go with that little tray. Oh, if I put it there, it's going to hide the arrows. Does that matter? Oh, I could put it like that. Okay, so that is going to be so. <laughs> if you can remember what I'm doing, I'm not sure I can. I have my appointments here. I've got my to-dos here, which I will fill in all of this during the week. Not sure how this is going to work because it's a tip-in and it doesn't have, like this page has something to lean on, this page does, this doesn't, well it does on this side. So I think another time I would decorate that side for fun. That would be cool actually to do something decorative there and then have my to-do list here. But I'll do that next week because it's too late. I've got my meal plan, still not finished my week, but I will do it and then I'll put my recipe for the week. And then the last thing I need to put in here is my focus for the week. And I am going to start by using, as always, some of my papers that I love using because I just love the look of torn paper. I don't know why. Why do I like the look of torn paper? But I do. Anyway, so I do. So I'm going to stick that in. Ready for my focus for the week. So I'll squish it right into that groove. It doesn't matter if it, if it wrinkles or whatever because it's so rustic looking. And then what colour I'm doing orange. So I'm thinking... I've got this beautiful sort of rusty, orangey, rusty, hingy paper. So I thought I would use that. And I'm just going to cut out some little circles. And maybe one bigger one. If I can find the punch. Where did the paper go? I found the punch. I've got the paper. Okay, so I think I use that. How simple is that as decoration to just pump, punch out a few circles if you've got pinches and they're very inexpensive. So you can just use them easily. I've got a circle there, a circle there, and a circle there, and that is all ready for my no i think it needs more i can't stop myself i think it needs more it's all ready for my focus of the week i just want to add this sticker i'm gonna put it there okay oh thank you more there's more glue oh it's really not this glue is not as good as my last glue, I think. There you go. Stay. Stick. 
stick. So, oh, I like that. That's really pretty. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my somewhat shambolic um, walkthrough of week four of One Foot July. I showed you my journaling page. I showed you my sketches. I showed you last week's journaling and talked about my focus of the week. And then I set up this week's journaling. And we're going to wait and see how this works out with the tip-in. Do you think it's going to work or not? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.